Hello, so this is an introduction to my first commitment on the open source hardware. So what you saw there was a demonstration of a modified version of the JC button library for the Arduino platform. The library is made by the gentleman named Jack Christensen. Uh, his GitHub is right here. And the readme file contains really detailed information on how to use the library. There's a lot of powerful functionality. However, there is one problem with the library that I don't like, or should I say a lack of feature. The ability to detect double clicks, triple clicks, or even quadruple clicks. So what I did is I made a modified version of the JC button library. So I'm gonna click. And here is the main difference. So here is a modification I made to the JC button library. It's called the multi press read function. When the button is pressed, it waits for 200 milliseconds for it to be released and then another 200 milliseconds for it to be pressed again. If any of those time limit is expired, then it will return the value it has received or the amount of time the button has been pressed in fast succession. Here is a time lapse of me writing the code for the demo you saw in the beginning. What the code does is that it turns on the LED for a second and then slowly fades out in a second right afterward. Now which LED turns on is based on whether it's a single press, double press, triple press, or quadruple press. If you go to the original JC button library, I have created a pull request so that this feature is added directly into the original library. Right now I just gotta wait for uh, Jack to receive it and approve it. In the meantime, if you want to use this library for your own project, simply go to my GitHub repository, go here, JC button, make sure, uh, make sure the URL says GitHub Quantronic JC button. Then you can basically download the zip file and then copy and paste it into the Arduino library folder. And then from there you can start using it. 